everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have the Hierophant reversed. So the Hierophant is a major arcana card and those always mean that we're engaging an important life lesson. Uh, the Hierophant, as you can see, is actually a, kind of an old name for the Pope. So when people see this card, they often think it's about church or religious life. But when I look at the card, um, I kind of connect it to the context of medieval society. And in a medieval society, the church was sort of the, the, the centerpiece for the larger community. So I think of the Hierophant as drawing us or making, making, helping us make the transition from our home life or from privacy, a private life into a communal life. So when you're in the household, that's your private space. You, that's where you learn, you grow, you experiment, you know, and you get your gifts in good shape. And when they're ready, that's when you step out of the home life and you become visible to the larger community and you bring your gifts to the world. And it's actually a pretty tricky transition. This is actually a five card and the five is always a challenge point in the tarot. Um, so it's basically, are you, do you feel confident enough to step out of your private life into the world where you're going to be seen, where you might be criticized, where people might tell you your gift's worthless? There's a, there's a risk in stepping outside your private world. Um, so the hero fan's there to help you um, find your way. See, he's here in this image. He's got his hands raised in blessing. There's two acolytes in front of him. It's like he's training them. He's guiding them. He's blessing them and drawing them in to the larger community. So that's what the Hierophant does for us too when it's upright. You know, it tells you it's time. You're ready. The world's ready for you. I'm going to help you find your people, your place, so that you fit perfectly inside of this web of humanity that you've been born into. This card came to us reversed. And that tells me that we might not actually be quite in our place. Like maybe we are responding to the needs the world is showing us, which is how most people start in the world, at least, is that, you know, we say, okay, what are people looking for and what can I do? And we start to take on roles that match other people's expectations, but they may not actually match our own true giftedness. So we're doing good in the world, we're responding, and we may be doing very well, we may be very good at what we're doing, but it doesn't feel quite comfortable, it doesn't feel quite fulfilling because we, instead of following our own giftedness and bringing that to the world, we've adapted to what people were looking for. So ask yourself today, where are you filling needs that are presented to you that are worthy and good, but don't match your gifts? Where are you feeling exhausted? Where are you getting you know, worn out? Because the energy you're offering is not being, um, it's not being fulfilled back to you. It's not being, you're not being filled with the same energy. So when you're in your gifts and you're offering your real calling to the world, it is self-sustaining. You give, you receive. There's this lovely kind of flow of energy. When you are giving from a place that's not your giftedness, it wears you out. So that will show, that's where burnout happens. That where, that's where you get exhausted. So ask yourself, is there a place where there is some dislocation between how you're presenting yourself in the world and what you actually have to offer? And, um, and how might you change that? That's today's card. See you tomorrow for our next one. Bye.